Hello guys, in today's video I would like to show you how to set up automated combat drone. XP2 is an unmanned autonomous vehicle which can be deployed and maintain formation with our command ship. It can pick up a fight with a hostile and fight independent from the player. To set it up, subscribe the drone. Link in the video description. Spawn the drone. Decide what will be your command ship. It may be any spaceship you want, large or small grid. Let's set up the small ship first. We need to cut all the red parts from the attached command model. Now the green parts need to be placed on the command ship. Place the model according to your ship forward direction. Small arrows on the remote control will help you. If you already have a connector installed on your ship, rename it to Dock A and add it to the Undock Connectors group. Now we need to turn on the navigation computer. Recompile all the attached blocks. After recompiling, our control model became active. To get control over the interface, get into G menu and find XB2 Remote Control. Then drag it into your toolbar with the setting Control. Take control over it. As we can see, one block is missing. That's our camera. It's gone after the replacement of the blocks. Get into the G menu and look for a scan array cam. Drag it into the place with the view option. At this point, our command ship is ready. Now we need to establish a connection with our drones. To do that, we are now going to navigate through the text panel interface. The buttons on the toolbar are just for that. One stands for up, two stands for down, three for enter, 5 for previous screen and 6 for the next screen. Select Form Up. We can see that the drone became active and took its position in the formation. At this point, it will automatically follow us and pick up a fight whenever a hostile gets into 600 meters storage range. We have two types of formation to choose, static and dynamic. In the static formation, the drone will maintain a fixed position according to the command ship. In the dynamic formation, it will circle around the command ship. To switch between the formation types, select Circle Formation. That will toggle between the formation types. Please note that it may take a while before the drone will get into the position. To send the drones to attack a distant target, we need to lock it first. To do that, select the camera view from the toolbar and point it on your enemy. Once that's done, select Lock Target from our interface and while still pointing at the hostile ship, select Attack Lock. We can see that the drone came back after engagement with a hostel. If the drone runs out of ammunition or you just don't like it anymore, you can use the RAM ability. To do that, we need to lock the target in the same way as we did it using the attack mode. Next, we need to select RAM. The drone will RAM the target shortly after. If you want to see fireworks, you can also add some warheads to your drone. It will automatically arm them while getting into the ramming mode. Provided we still have it, let's dock our drone. To dock the drone, we need to get to the next page of our panel. Press 6, now select dock. Then select undock. The drone will automatically go back to the formation. Please note that sometimes the drone may want to go back to the formation right after a world reload or recompile. So if it is docked, I suggest to undock it and dock it again. We can set our drone to follow a complex landing path upon docking and undocking. That is a very useful feature if we have a carrier with more complex landing pattern. First, get to the second page of the drone interface and select pre-contact. All the drones in our fleet will stand still now. Take control over the drone. Position your drone in a straight line according to the connector. I'd advise to get no closer than 50 meters. Select 2 on the toolbar. That will record the drone's position. You can record multiple positions. You can erase the path by pressing 8. If you fly a big ship like a carrier, I highly recommend you to set positions as follows. First position in a straight line no closer than 50 meters to the connector. Second position in the front or back of your ship. That will prevent your drone from crashing if you recall it in an unfortunate moment. After recording the path, go back to your ship's controls. Recompile the drone PV group. 
Go to the interface controls and select Form Up. Now your drone is ready to dock and undock following the landing pattern. You can add more drones and available connectors. In such case, the drones without a signed connector will wait for their turn to dock. I recommend to set a landing pattern separate for each drone with slightly different path to avoid accidental collisions. Another advice will be to dock the drones when standing still, even though they are able to dock while in move. Now you're ready to fight. Good luck, pilot! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to leave a like and subscribe for more.